Rob Lapoulos game day with Devils head coach Mark Dennehy and coach go back to Saturday afternoon in Hershey late push big goal by Tyler Irvine he's put in so much work this season you've seen him getting better uh, what was that goal like uh, as a coach to see him finally get one well I thought I thought we played a, a pretty good game especially on the road really limiting their opportunities and um, you know we, we were probably as good on the rush as we've been all year uh, and, and Tyler's goal was a direct result of that. Nice play by Marty to just, uh, Danique Martel to, to, to flip it out of the zone and get it behind him. Uh, good reception by Travis, and, and we've been talking about mid-lane drive. Um, that's basically what Tyler did. Mid-lane drive, gets, re- gets rewarded for it with his first career goal. And then later in that game, the, the it wasn't tied for too long. Connor McMichael been a thorn in the side of a lot of teams this season and gets that late one there for the win what did you think of the, the overall performance on Saturday for the Devils yeah I, I thought we played well uh, I thought we played well enough to win and didn't um, uh, so obviously we've we've got to be better um, you know you're on the road you tied the game um, pucks five feet inside our zone that's got to come out and it's got to come out on a regular basis so um, it's a matter of, of putting that in our memory bank uh, not letting that happen again, but uh, as I told our team, I think if we play as hard as we did and we execute as well as we did, uh, most nights we're going to feel good about the results. You've talked about the D zone turnovers, the the mental errors. As a coach, how do you how do you help prevent stuff like that? I mean, you can only do so much uh, as a as a coach on the bench. Well, you know, people learn different ways. Some people learn by being told. Some people learn visually unfortunately most of us learn through experience and we've got a lot of inexperienced guys uh you know you tell a child not to touch the flame most people are going to touch it before they they learn and and right now we're, we're getting burned by that um so you know hopefully we we've got that out of our system we've had enough guys get burned by the flame that that we're going to resist the temptation to uh to make fancy plays inside our zone uh and and get it out Lehigh Valley, one of the best teams in the league here this season, and, and you see a lot of them. We have um, very mobile, gifted defensemen. Um, you know, they usually get a good goaltending effort every night, and um, you know they're they're built well. Uh, good goalie, good D, good centers, um, and and so yeah, we we I thought we hung in there the last time we played them in their place. I thought we played well here. Uh, and they ended up uh, squeaking out a 3-2 win. Um, and, and then went there, Streeter can't go. Um, I thought we handled it pretty well. It's, it's a, a, you know, a 4-3 game in the third period, and then we give up a couple goals that would, would like back. Um, again, um, plays that we, we need to learn from. So, uh, listen, we, we have these guys still a bunch more times here. Uh, but I, I think we need to keep getting better, and, and we will get rewarded. And then final question, you've been able to see Arne Talavitia here for two games. What have you seen in him? A smart player. Uh, smart player, um, good positionally, uh, strong. Um, you know, he's gotten, his, he's gotten hit a couple times and taken off his skates, but he's sturdy. M- made a couple nice plays on zone entry last time, uh, last game, and, and he shoots it pretty well. So, um, I think it'll be just a matter of time before he, he helps out offensively, but he's been able to understand some of our concepts uh, pretty quickly, which tells me he's an intelligent player.